about it. Threw up by some I don't trust my own body. You would take a shot, you took her to Chrome Palace. It only took me one car, got a man. Welcome, everyone, to a brand new season of NBA basketball. I'm sure you're as excited as all of us are here at 2K Sports as we get ready to start the season in style. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke here at the table, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. And a chance now to look at the schedule coming up for the Toronto Raptors. On Friday, they'll be matching up against Kyle Lowry and the Philadelphia 76ers. And then on Saturday, they'll be matching up against Mike Conley and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And you know for that matchup with Denver, that's one to watch for. Fourth contest of this brand new NBA season. I'm interested in how those teams match up in the early part of this year. Look at Cleveland's starting group. A loaded backcourt. It's Garland and Mitchell. A lot of length inside. It's Mobley and Allen in the post. And it's Okoro in at the three slot. And for Toronto, in at the forward spots, we'll see Barrett and Barnes. Dick is out there with Emmanuel quickly. And it's Pirtle in at the five. Here we are early in the NBA season, and teams focus on situational awareness. Doris, what have you noticed so far this season? Yeah, Kev, these situations are really all about execution, right? Are players poised in late clock situations? First of all, do they recognize where the shot clock is? Can they adeptly and quickly read defenses? So those are some of the things I'm watching for. Barnes can't get it to go. Right side, Garland. Plays it up off the glass. Boy, how about the nimbleness to overcome the defense inside. Darius Garland makes his opportunities. Outside, Barrett. Garland against quickly. To the middle. Here's Pirtle. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. A uh, solid IQ play right there from Emmanuel quickly. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. Pass to Garland. Back to Mitchell. This one for three. Hits the three-point bomb. Boy, if you let Donovan Mitchell get comfortable shooting the basketball, you're in for a tough night. That's an easy catch and shoot. Well, last season, the Cavaliers won their first playoff series since 2018. That's when LeBron was looking great. And it was their first series win without LeBron James since 1993. So it was a huge deal for the organization as they continue to take steps in the right direction. Here's Garland after the Raptors pick up two. Mitchell looking it over. Just five on the clock. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pass to quickly. Back to Dick. Fires for three. Gets the three-pointer to the fall. And whenever Dick is getting a pass, if he has any chance to get off a clean jumper, you know it's going up. Now, here's Mitchell. And here is a core roll. Pass to Mitchell. Over Dick. Again, Mitchell missing. Raptors with the lead. How about this run, Craig? They're on right now. What? I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing. Really keeping things simple. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, Kevin. Spoke earlier with Darko Ryakovich. Now, he feels like Darius Garland is the key to that offense. Coach said not many people can stay in front of Garland one-on-one. -on -one. He's so shifty. So the rotations defensively have to be decisive and quick. And at the other end, we want to force him to work defensively. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now here's Barnes. Brown the pass to Quickly. Hurdle with a screen on Mitchell. Quickly kicks to Brown. Three-pointer. 
Evan Mobley with the rebound. Cleveland has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Pass to Garland. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Garland's got six points. I like the toughness required on that finish by Darius Garland. Boy, oh boy, that was nice. The willingness to mix it up on the interior, so important. Now, here's Barrett. Hasn't made one yet. And yes, it's good. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Garland, no good. The Raptors have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. A doors how has Scotty Barnes advanced his game since being named Rookie of the Year back in 2022? Well, all the physical skills are there for him. Tremendous athlete, cross-positional defensively. I think what happens for young players I'm is they start to read the progressions of the game more quickly. Now you can put the ball in his hands. Let him be a decision maker. This guy is a stat stuffer. And Kenny Atkinson calls timeout. He wants to talk to his guys. We need you to get right now for your north side move. Teams changing it up here. Let's use this break for a quick look at the squads that really made it happen on the fast break last season. Number one, the Raptors. Do they love to run? I mean, nobody did it better. They would get out in the lanes and push the ball even after makes. One twenty four left in the first quarter. Here's Wade. It's over a Linick. Wade misses. And Barrett has got the ball here for the Raptors. And the Toronto Raptors taking Scotty Barnes doors fourth overall in the 2021 draft. <laughs> what a great pick. And Kev, that was a bit of a surprise if you remember back to that date. Most had Barnes going later in the draft. He's been a terrific acquisition. Won the Rookie of the Year, was an All-Star in Year 3, and they're going to build their organization around it. Toronto with the ball. After the Cavaliers pick up three. Down low. Here's Brown. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. 35 seconds left to play here in the first. Levert the pass to Garland. Bruce with it. Three-pointer. Wade. It's rebounded by Dick. Here's Abaji. Pass to Olenek. And Barrett now top of the key. Olenek a screen on Spruce. One quarter in the books. And it's been a close one so far. Cavaliers lead by one. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto.
And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And taking a look at the Cavaliers' performance here, what do you guys see? Just stretching out the floor in that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. And that was obviously the plan coming in. Now the big question, can they maintain that efficiency from range as the game goes along? Toronto trailing. Kelly Olenek is out there with Scotty Barnes. Then there's Brown. Then it's Grady Dick. And it's Abaji in at the small forward position. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. And it's Brown missing. For three, Mitchell does not score again. That's his fourth miss against one mate. And the short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, the Raptors are rebuilding with purpose. Coach Darko Ryakovich said, we're doing a good job at the start of this process, selecting the right people that care and are very committed to each other. That's a good baseline to build on. Kevin, slowly, the pieces are falling into place. David, you're so right. He is great at developing those young players. A three from Barnes. Levert grabs the miss. Cleveland's gone 0-2 from deep in the second. From 11 feet away, the Cavaliers with another miss. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. Barnes looking around. Barnes with another miss. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Mitchell finds Struce. There's the triple. Bangs home the trifecta. And the Cavaliers lead by two. And we've got our 2K insider, Shams Charania, on the line. Shams, watch the story. Well, guys, teams are all grappling with this new CBA, especially the dreaded second apron. Fans possibly unclear on what it means. Honestly, even front offices are still navigating the complexities of the new restrictions. But basically, it has become harder for teams to spend big and acquire new players under the current systems. We'll see, guys, how this impacts everyone moving forward. Something to keep an eye on, no doubt. All right, Shams, thanks a lot. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Cavaliers. Uh, they've looked to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far, they are hitting at a high clip. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. Free throw drops for Mitchell. And Doris this summer, the Cavaliers opting to make changes. And Kevin, a little bit of a surprise in this particular way. They fired their coaching staff, bring in a new regime. And think about it, you fire that group after you've made the playoffs two seasons in a row, and yet you still opt to go in a different direction. So a lot of pressure on the staff coming in. The Cavaliers leading by five. Pass to Levert. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. Adding to their advantage, trying to find a way to blow this one open. One of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matchups and then going at them. And the timeout called by Darko Royakovic. This will give them a chance to discuss some potential alterations.
Pirtle, he is checked in for the Raptors. Mobley, he is checked in for Cleveland. Garland comes in for Karis LeVert. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Back to Brown. Just four to shoot. To stop the run. And again, Toronto no up. The Cavaliers leading by seven. Here's a curl. Barnes grabs the miss. Toronto's gone 0 or 2 from deep here in the second. Doris, you can just see in Isaac Okoro the confidence he's gained since his rookie year. Kevin, he's always had tremendous confidence on the defensive end. I mean, he's a lockdown defender at multiple positions. What you're seeing develop is more belief in his jump shot. And that confidence comes because he's been willing to put in the work. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And the defense of this Raptors team, Craig, they are built to switch. And it's no accident with their roster construction. They like having wings that can guard all five positions makes defending a much easier prospect. That one is off. Recently, the Raptors made moves, Greg, to add some Canadian-born talent to their roster. They traded for R.J. Barrett and Kelly Olenek, two guys that represent Canada in international play and were both born in Toronto now playing for their hometown team. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. R.J. Barrett comes in for Bruce Brown and quickly in for Mitchell. And Greg, the Cavaliers in recent years establishing a defensive identity. Yeah, they do a great job of locking down the paint, Kevin, forcing teams to shoot over the top and just vacuuming up those misses. Now Mitchell following the three-point attempt by Scotty Barnes. He gets it in there. Mitchell's got five points now this quarter. See, what a good feel for what the defense is conceding. Donovan Mitchell very willing to get to that mid-range jumper. And Olin kicks it quickly. Softly drops in the floater. Quickly has got six. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. to Garland. Cleveland moving it around. Pass to Mitchell. Over Barrett. And it's Mitchell missing. No other way to put it. Just a poor shooting performance for him. But luckily, his teammates have picked up the slack. Now, quickly. We've got 118 left in the second quarter. Count that one. Boy, quickly getting a bucket on the interior. Nicely done. And Kenny Atkinson calls timeout. And coach has decided they need a moment to talk things over.
making a change here. Dix checked in. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Lavert's checked in for Mitchell. One fifteen left now here in the second. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Kevin, thanks. Darius Garland, the son of former NBA player Winston Garland, said that he was a sponge growing up listening to his dad. He hung on every word about playing point guard. Darius says, I learned the little things much quicker. He taught me at a young age to change gears to keep defenders off balance. Kevin? And he's doing it. I love the tricks of the trade you just talked about. Thank you so much. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Pass to Garland. In the corner, it's Mobley. Back to Okoro. Three-pointer, Levert. And it's Toronto with the rebound. Well, they are daring him to miss, and he obliges. The offensive rebound, Barnes. Good D by Mobley. This guy has not been a factor at all in this quarter, and it has hurt the team. Quickly against Garland. Here's the floater. No good that time. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. Cavaliers on top, up by four. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. Come one, come all. The 2K halftime is here, and so is our breakdown of the upcoming schedule. Let's check it out. Taking a look here now at Toronto, you really get to see what they're made of after your hard work in the offseason. Yeah, you have big changes, and then you have subtle changes, everything in preparation for this moment. And in our game with the Raptors, a close, entertaining first half. They're playing too casual. Not being aggressive, not getting to the line. They're doing some other things well, but not that. You know what I'm looking at? Free throw disparity. That's a difference in the game. And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Donovan Mitchell really making a difference here. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. On the court for Cleveland, a lot of length inside. It's Mobley and Allen in the post. A loaded backcourt. It's Garland and Mitchell. And it's Okoro in at the three spot. Bertle sets the pick for Quickly. Traps in the tray. Quickly's got the first basket of the third quarter for the Raptors. Listen, if you give Emmanuel Quickly a look from three, there's never hesitation. A reserve through his first three and a half seasons. Quickly now stepping indoors to a starting role. You know, Kevin, you go from instant offense role off the bench to now being a lead guard. The responsibility takes an extraordinary step up. But this guy is clearly ready. Quickly wanted to be a starter in this league. Oh, Barrett. After the missed three from Evan Mobley. Barrett kicks to Pirtle. Just three to shoot. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Cavaliers leading. 
here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Garland finds Mitchell. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Garland. Mitchell's got 11 points. Well, Donovan Mitchell, a three-level scorer, and fires away from deep with reckless abandon, folks. And Darko Ryakovich calls timeout. Wants to talk some things over. Might be seeing some things to adjust. It's time for the dance camp. If you see yourself on the big screen, if you know what to do, shut your boo. Chance now to see the numbers for Evan Mobley. Great showing for him last season. Put up about 15 points per, nine rebounds, and three assists. And he's a great presence on the glass. He'll battle inside for every rebound. He's certainly not afraid to mix it up. When bodies are around or flying, he's usually at the point of it. Quickly against Garland. Here's Barrett. The Cavaliers pull it in. Allen's got four rebounds now tonight and stolen by Barnes. Pass to Dick. Now Pirtle. Back to Dick. Down to five on the shot clock. The Raptors need to get a shot. And the dunk by Pirtle. Well, I think his frame makes him very difficult to deal with as a roll man. Pirtle can set a mean screen. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Back to Garland. Makes it off the glass. Garland's got eight points. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Pass to Barnes. Quickly against Garland. And that one's good quickly. Well, this is quickly in a nutshell. This guy can light up a defense in a hurry. It's Garland with the ball for the Cavaliers. A two-point game. Okoro kicks to Garland. Here he goes. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Here's Dick. In the corner, Barrett with it. Shoots over a Coro. Barrett, no good. The Cavaliers leading by four. And Doris, the Cavs, had a very successful 23-24 season. 37 wins and the number four seed in the East. And Kevin winning a playoff series. Their first one without LeBron James since 1993. Most of the players on the floor weren't even alive back then. Incredible to think of it in that context. Now here's Barnes following the miss by Donovan Mitchell. A three-pointer is right on target. And that is why this team has Brady Dick, a floor spacer coming into the league with an elite three-point shot. Okoro kicks to Garland. There's the drive. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now, six for eight on the night. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. And Darko Ryakovich calls timeout. Wants to regroup and go over the strategy. Now you're the fan. Now you're the fan. 
Cavaliers with some changes. Dean Wade, he's checked in for Jared Allen. George Niang comes in for Mobley. And Karis Levert subbed in for Mitchell. Toronto with the ball. They trail by three. Mitchell outside. Here's Abaji. He's covered by Niang. Abaji can't get it to go. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. No good from Wade. The Raptors have gone an even 50% from the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Here's to Abaji. That one, no good. Cleveland leading by three. Now Levert. Here's Wade for the three. A shot missing. 56 seconds left in the third. Mitchell passes to Olenek. Back to Mitchell. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Brown with a screen on Levert. The three, Barrett. And it's Wade with the rebound. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Raptors trail by five. 29 seconds left in the third. There at the pass, Joel Ennick. And the shot goes in. Now critical in the pick and roll that you be able to deliver the ball in a timely spot and in the right position. And R.J. Barrett does just that. Now here's Garland. He's got 12. From deep three-point land, the long distance three is Barrett. Garland's got nine points here in the second half. Darius Garland has been leading the charge for Cleveland. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We'll return shortly. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. We've got Brown. Kelly Olenek is out there with Barnes. Then it's Mitchell. And it's Abaji in at the three. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. It's stolen by Struess. Levert finds Wade. Now Struess. 
Mitchell left side. Over Mitchell. Shots good by Mitchell. Mitchell's got the lead up to eight now for the Cavs. You can see the kind of confidence Donovan Mitchell has in that handle. His ability to navigate off the triple drive. Nice. A nice shot by Brown. Yeah, nothing too fancy. Just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Mitchell passes to Struess. Mitchell against Mitchell. Wade sets the pick for Mitchell. Good on the three-point shot. Mitchell's got five points now this quarter. There's a measure of composure with Donovan Mitchell, just so calm and focused, understanding how to manipulate the pick and roll. Now here's Barnes. Here's Obashi. That one's not going to go. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Wade against Olenek. Wade kicks to Struess. On the wing, Mitchell. Six to shoot. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Pass to Mitchell. Now here's Barnes. Defended by Struess. It's rebounded by Cleveland. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. For three, Mitchell. Again, Mitchell missing. Raptors trail by nine. Here's Barnes. The shot's good. Brown making the play. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And Kenny Atkinson calls timeout. He's clearly intent on wanting to lock in and make sure everyone's on the same page. Substitution here for Cleveland. Allen's checked in for Wade. Evan Mobley comes in for George Niang. Akoro's checked in for Max Struess. And it's Garland in for Karis Levert. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Thanks, Kevin. Kenny Atkinson had some words for his team during the break. Now, coach told his team, we're up. Take care of the ball. Don't give them the game. Playing smart basketball will clinch a victory for us. Guys? Thank you, David. Now, here's Mitchell. Drills it from outside. Mitchell's got the lead up to 10 now for the Cavs. Why, right from the opening tip, guys. Mitchell was focused and locked in, and he is doing damage offensively. Mobley against Barnes. Hurdle with a screen on Garland. A putback, and Pirtle able to finish. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. The Cavaliers leading by eight. Mobley outside. Pass to Okoro. A three. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got his fourth rebound in this one. 
Barnes passes to quickly. Here's Dick. Off target with his three. If you want to cut into a lead, you have got to trust your teammates and move the ball. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Toronto's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. And here's Quickly for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mitchell's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Driving the lane for Barrett. Shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. One of the real streak scorers in the game. Donovan Mitchell is heated up and percolating. Barnes kicks to Barrett. Bertle the pass to Quickly. Now Barnes covered by Mobley. Barnes can't get it to go. Boy, in that close, he's almost automatic. Boy, that's pretty good defense. Wow. Garland, the pass to Allen. A minute 20 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Pocket six. Toronto grabs the miss. Hurdle's got his fifth rebound in this one. Barrett kicks to quickly. Toronto working the ball around now. Takes the three. Evan Mobley with the rebound. Ian Garland with the ball for Cleveland. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Mitchell outside. From past the arc, knocks down the three ball. And the Cavaliers lead by 13. Spirited performance. You love to get this kind of win, especially on the road. You've got to be able to block out all distractions in enemy territory. This team did a tremendous job staying focused on the task at hand. Now, here's Okoro following the miss by Scotty Barnes. Allen with the screen for Okoro. Over Barrett. Okoro shot is off. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And that about does it for their first game of the new NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Alder, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. And now, our player of the game, Donovan Mitchell.